Hello friends, myself Chirak. In this video, I am going to discuss RSA algorithm, public key cryptography. Before discuss about RSA algorithm, there are two different key is used for the encryption and decryption in public key cryptography. One is public key and second one is private key. Now RSA algorithm introduction. Ron Rivest, Adi Samir, and Len Edelman have developed this algorithm. So based on their names, this is Rivest, Samir, and Edelman. So we can say it is RSA algorithm. RSA algorithm is works on block cipher which converts plain text into cipher text and vice versa at receiver side. The algorithm works as follow. So these are the steps of algorithm. Uh, there are total 8 steps performed in the algorithm for the encry including encryption and decryption. So this all steps I will discuss uh, with example. So RSA algorithm step by step explanation or we can say step by step execution with example. RSA algorithm step by step explanation first one step number one of the RSA algorithm select two prime numbers P and Q where P not equal to Q. So P and Q both are the two numbers we have to choose this two prime numbers and uh, both are not same. So explanation. Uh, Two prime numbers I have choose over here P is equal to 13 and Q is equal to 11. Both are prime and both not equal. So step number two calculate N is equal to P into Q. So multiply both the numbers with each other and it generates 143. So N is equal to P into Q is equal to 143. Step number three calculate phi of N is equal to P minus 1 multiply by Q minus 1. So this is the explanation phi of n is equal to 13 minus 1 into 12 minus 1 is equal to 12 into 10 is equal to 120. Now step number 4 select E such that E is relatively prime to phi of n. So phi of n is not a prime number but we have to choose E and E is the prime number. So value of E is 1 less than E less than phi of n. And the greatest common divisor or we can, we can say GCD of the E and phi of n is equal to 1. So I have choose select E is equal to 13. GCD 13 comma 120 is equal to 1. So here E is the public key of this algorithm. Now step number 5. Calculate D. D is the private key of this algorithm. D is equal to E inverse mod phi of n or we can write E into D is equal to 1 mod phi of n. So here is the solution or we can say it is the example. So here the value of E is equal to 13, phi of n is equal to 120 and we have to find D. So simplify the given equation D into E is equal to 1 mod phi of n. Uh, D is equal to phi of n into i plus 1 divided by e. So this is the simplification of this equation. Now find the value of D. D is equal to here I got 9.30 from this equation and the value of i is equal to 1 and the value of e is 13 and value of phi of n is equal to 120. Again find the D. So the value of D is equal to 18.53 when i is equal to 2. Again find d. d is equal to 27.76 when i is equal to 3. Again find d. So this is the value of d is 37. Here i is equal to 4. So we have to stop finding d when we get the exact integer value. Whenever we get float value we have to find next. We have to find another. Then when we get exact integer value we have to stop finding d and this is our d d is equal to 37 so our private key is 37 for this algorithm now step number six public key is equal to en private key is equal to dn so here step number six a public key is 13 and private key is 37 as per the step number six in step number seven now we have to find the ciphertext given this formula now ciphertext is equal to plain text rest to e mod n where p less than n. Here c is the ciphertext, 
P is the plain text, small e is the encryption key and n is the block size. Uh, we have P, E, N, N value and now find ciphertext. As the step number 7, encryption, plain text here P is equal to 13. So this is my original message, the message value is 13. And as per the condition, uh, 13 less than N because the value of N is 143. So 13 less than 143. So as per the equation, I get ciphertext. Ciphertext is 52. So this is ciphertext, C is equal to 52 and send this message to the receiver side. Now step number 8, receiver side, decryption process will be executed. So here, uh, the equation of the decryption process is C raised to D mod N plain text P can be obtained using the given formula. Here D is equal to decryption key. So we have to find P. Now put the value P is equal to C raised to D mod N. Here C is equal to 52, D is equal to 37, mod is equal uh, mod 143. So we get the 13. Now plain text is 13. At receiver side, uh, sorry, at sender side, P is equal to 13 and at receiver side, it's P is equal to 13. So we get the final value or we get the original message after the decryption at receiver side. Now, uh, all of you have to perform this exercise. So first exercise is uh, P and Q are two prime numbers. The value of P and Q are given over here, 7 and 17. And E is equal to 5. So our public key is 5. If plain text value is 6. Now what will be the ciphertext value according to the RSA algorithm? Again calculate plain text value from the ciphertext. Write your answer in comment section. Exercise number 2. In a public key crypto system using RSA algorithm, user uses two prime numbers 5 and 7. Here P is equal to 5, Q is equal to 7. Both are the prime numbers. He chooses 11 as encryption key. So E is equal to 11. Find out decryption key. So what will be the ciphertext? If the plain text is 2. Here original message plain text value is 2. Now decrypt the ciphertext and what will be the value of plain text? Write your answer in comment section. Then again Exercise number 3. Here value of P and Q is equal to 17 and 11. And the public key is equal to 7 and plain text value is 5. So find out the ciphertext and private key. It means ciphertext C and private key D. Then after again calculate plain text from the ciphertext. So this is exercise number 3. Write your answer in comment section. Exercise number 4. Here P is equal to 3, Q is equal to 11 and public key value E is equal to 3. If original message is this is binary numbers, now you have to convert into decimal numbers and then calculate ciphertext value and private key D. Then again calculate plain text value from the ciphertext. Write your answer in comment section. Exercise number 5. This is the last exercise of this video. P and Q are the two prime numbers. The value is P is equal to 13, Q is equal to 17. Take public key E is equal to 19. So this is our public key. If original message is 12, then what will be the ciphertext and private key value? So after finding the ciphertext, you have to again calculate plain text value from the ciphertext. Write your answer in comment section. So I will evaluate your answer in comment section if it is true or false. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Balodia. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Follow my blog edu resources. Thank you.